Do you ever wonder how life really works? Because when I look around, even when I look at myself in the past, I noticed me wanting to experience things that made me feel good, that were pleasurable or whatever I wanted. I wanted to experience just the good side of life and eliminate the bad side. And life doesn't work in that way. Life's ha life has themes and sub-themes, and depending on when and where and where you were where you were born and all that and who you are and your circumstances. You go through different themes. For example, someone might experience financial trouble. They may be focused on financial things. When someone else is focused on relationships, another is focused on kids and nourishing kids and creativity, and someone else deals with diseases or health. So we all have a different perspective and a different experience of life, which is why it's so hard to find people that agree with us 100% of the time. Because we're not meant to do that. We're all meant to have a unique perspective on life. For example, I'm here to share what I've discovered through going through psychological hardships, to going through ups and downs and things related to my mind and really being pushed down you can you can say and through that discovering that there's beauty in life and then me sharing that with you sharing the spiritual philosophical view of life just by what I've gone through and what I've learned what I've discovered and another big big part of my theme the themes when I look at my life is financial things and mon having to do with money and incorporating money into how we live our lives because money is just a, just a part of life it's just uh, like many people say it's energy but it's also how we conceptualize money and all that and putting it together with who we are and doing what we love despite external conditioning so when you look at your life it's not about getting rid of the problems and obstacles because there will always be something that's wrong in your life it's just there to mold you to shape you into something greater and often or in the majority of cases the first 40 years of your life is just you going through different themes and kind of noticing and figuring things out in life there's so much pressure to pressure on people on pressure on people when they're 14 or 20 I get emails from people even if you're 30 or 40 you're not really meant to know what you're here to do and you don't have to figure that stuff out which I talk about on my website and in different videos on my channel you're simply here to enjoy life and to learn to navigate as yourself which means to follow what resonates with you to notice what you're excited about, what you're interested in, because that's your purpose, that's what you're here to do. You're not here to listen to anyone else, not even here to listen to me. But hopefully I can spark that within you to start listening to yourself, uh, because you have an inner GPS within you, a navigational system that guides you through life. So it takes time, and the themes here in life, we go through different things. That's why there's so much disagreement, because everyone wants everyone else to agree with them and to force them into their belief system and to their perspective. Yet we're here to all have a different perspective and through our individuality we can come together and yeah, it's like the different parts in an engine. Most of those parts are different from each other, but they make the engine work. And that's that's how life is. The themes and sub-themes. If you look at your life, maybe you're, you have prob problems or trouble in relationships so you can figure out your career. Whatever your focus is on and whatever your mind obsesses about, that's probably one of the themes in your life. So if life works in these themes, then what should we do? How should we live to, so we can enjoy life? Well, the first thing is to relax, to see that life is 
happening by itself. You don't have to figure these things out. You can simply start enjoying them and surrendering to the flow of life because life brings you things and things sort of happen by themselves. The more pressure you put on yourself to figure life out and to get rid of the problems, the more you'll suffer, the more pain, psychological pain you'll experience because you're trying to control life and it simply doesn't work that way. So what I found is to simply relax, to enjoy life, to observe life, because this is your personal movie. You're in your personal movie, you're the protagonist, you're the main character, and you're simply here to be the passenger in all that and to witness life, to enjoy both the ups and downs, and simply do your best. When you're pushing, when you're anxious, you may be trying too hard. And yeah, there are always those who don't agree with me, who think you have to push, you have to go out there and do things, and by all means, go out there and do that and see what happens. If it works for you, great, but this is what I've discovered. So notice the themes in your life and notice how you're trying to control things, start to push away the problems in your life, the perceived problems, and see if you can't relax a bit. Take a vacation, one day where you surrender and relax and simply observe observe the flow of life, notice where life is taking you, notice what's coming to you, what you resonate with. And yeah, if you want more on how to follow your inner GPS and all that, I talk a lot more about this in my other videos on my website. And if you enjoy this video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.